Okay, welcome to Studio Jakarta E and uh, this community chat with uh, Kevin Sutter. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell a little bit about what you're doing for a, a day work? Okay, sure. Um, so I think many of you know that I do work for IBM. They're the ones that are paying my salary. But um, the majority of my time is actually spent working in the open source arena. And yes, definitely the majority of it is with Jakarta EE, but I'm also involved with MicroProfile. Um, and I, I know this talk is about Jakarta EE, so I won't, I won't talk about MicroProfile a whole lot. Um, oh, we can, we can talk about MicroProfile as well. That's, uh, that's a okay. Good... Okay. Um, so back on Jakarta EE, I'm, I'm involved in the working group, both at the steering committee and the spec committee. I'm a member of the PMC. I'm a member of um, several of the different um, development teams or specification teams, but the main one is the platform specification. And I've been driving a lot of that work for Jakarta EE9. And so from uh, um, the, the, my biggest job, I guess, to put it, for this past release is trying to lead the Jakarta EE9 release for the community. And so I'm, you know, not, not looking at it from an IBM perspective, but from a community perspective and trying to figure out, okay, what can we deliver by when and trying to help, you know, you've probably heard the term, heard the cats and just trying to get all the different specifications lined up so that we could deliver this. Um, we, I'm, maybe I'm jumping the gun here a little bit, but we did get to the point where we have all of the specifications into ballot and they should be completing by the end of this week. And so all of Jakarta EE9 should be available by the end of this week. Um, yeah, so, so you were very successful in herding all the cats on, uh, up until November 20th, where we are releasing Jakarta EE9. Correct, yes. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very impressive. And what would you say this Jakarta E9 release? Because it's a kind of a special release. And what does this release actually mean for you? Yeah, it is. It, I mean, you know, I've heard some comments that some people say, oh, this is just a, a, you know, basically a nothing release because there's nothing new, you know, new features or anything related to Jakarta or Jakarta EE. But the, the thing is, you know, there was a requirement that we had to change the namespace. So we could no longer use Java X and we had to move to the Jakarta namespace. And that was a lot of work. Um, and granted, it's not a whole lot of new function, but this new platform on Jakarta EE9, this provides the foundation. So from now on, now we can start adding the new features that we need for the Jakarta EE platform. And we've got everybody moved, you know, just, you know, some people, if you remember way back when we were talking about a big bang, you know, doing it all at once versus incremental. Well, the big bang, I think, turned out to be the right way to go um, because now everybody, all of the specifications are going to be at the same level, the same package name, the same naming conventions. And now we can move forward with new uh, capabilities and new function. So I, I think it's, it functionally, it may not be anything new, but it's a very important release for us to move forward. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sets us at, at a place where we uh, kind of got rid of the legacy holding us back so we can use the new namespace and do whatever we want with it in the future. Exactly, yep. So you mentioned the community and, and involvement and there are a lot of people involved in the community, but we always want more. So um, how would you recommend a, a newcomer to get involved in the Jakarta community and, and uh, how can they contribute? Um, I, I've had those type of conversations with several people like on Slack, you know, they'll, they'll reach out on our, um, organization, the Jakarta EE organization, and they'll ask how, how I can get started. 
the thing I recommend is don't bite off too much. Start small. Try to pick some area of Jakarta EE that you have some interest in. I mean, maybe it's persistence. Maybe it's um, uh, EJBs or you know Jakarta Enterprise Beans now, as they're known. Um, maybe it has something to do with UI, you know, with the safe um, faces or uh, server pages or something like that. Pick in the area that you're interested in, and then you can start to monitor their mailing list and find out, okay, what is it that, you know, people are interested in? Or maybe there's an aspect that you have a specific interest in and you raise that as an issue or maybe even a PR to try and get your foot in the door. But um, I, I just, I keep telling people, don't think big. I mean, I get a lot of requests to come into the platform and they want to work on the platform. But then when they look at everything that has to be involved with working on the platform, I think they get overwhelmed. Yeah, that's hard. I, I remember when I started with this, I, I, I did exactly what you, you were suggesting. I, I looked at something I could contribute with, and that was the MVC specification. And I, I started just creating examples for it and doing talks on conferences. Yep. And I ended up being the spec lead. So, so it, it goes fast. Sooner, before you know it, you're, you're actually leading this. You're, 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 you're the expert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, you know, and it doesn't have to be, you know, just, you know, deliverable code or specifications like you were saying, presentations, yeah. um, test cases, uh, blogs. I mean, any type of input like that is helpful, um, not only to promote the brand, but also to help your own understanding of it and get more involved with the community. Yeah, and, and w one way also to get involved if you're not, if, you're, if you don't wanna do it your, on your own, if you're a member of a Java users group, you can join the uh, adopt a specification program with the user group and have your user group adopt the specification and, and be, be available for the people working on the specification. Yep, then. yep. So, uh, Jakarta 9 is an important release since we are uh, moving to the namespace and, and we're uh, trying to ease the migration for the, uh, imp both the implementers and the users of the technology by not adding too much features. So that brings us up over to uh, future and thinking a little bit about future releases. And do you have any favorite features you would like to see in a future release? Well, um, so before we get to that, I do want to kind of mention about the 9.1 release. Oh, yes. So one of the things that we determined when we were trying to develop Jakarta EE9 is that a combination between the TCK and our compatible implementation, Glassfish, um, we couldn't get them running in... Um, sufficient time or within our, um, our deadlines to run on both Java SE 8 and Java SE 11. So we made a determination back in June that we were going to drop Java SE 11. So Jakarta E9 only requires Java SE 8. But we said that, okay, but as soon as we get Jakarta E9 out the door, we got to start working on this short term release and we called it 9.1 and that would support Java SE 11. So that's what I am, I'm putting together a preliminary, I, I hate to call the plan because it's very kind of fluid, but either later today or tomorrow, I'll be putting out a document to the wider community asking for input on what we should be doing for 9.1. I know for sure we need Java SE 11 but there's some other items that are on the fringe and we got to find out, okay, are we going to bite those off and include them in this minor near-term release or will it move on to the next release? Okay. So that, that's my first goal is, um, and, and I kind of volunteered <laughs> to drive the 9.1 release as well. Now, beyond 9.1, that's still a question mark. I mean, we've been talking about it on the platform calls and on the mailing lists and stuff. And we're, we're trying to figure out, okay, so after 9.1, what do we do next? Do we do a 
X, do we do a 9.2 type release picking up? Because we know that some of the specification projects are starting some minor updates to their releases. So should we start pulling in some of this new capability um, and not have a big bang or not a big bang, I shouldn't say that term anymore, uh, another big major release um, and just, you know, keep the wheels moving and do another minor release. So that, that's one idea. But we also know that there are some uh, projects that are trying to drive to another major release. Um, Server faces is one that is looking at trying to move up to 4.0 and they have some breaking changes that are being planned. So does that kind of say, okay, if there's more of that type of activity, should we be doing a major release then? So should we be going from a 9.1 to a um, Jakarta EE10 release? So there's still some of that discussion that needs to happen at the wider community and figure out where are these different projects at and what is the desire from the community as far as getting these releases uh, available on a timely manner. Yeah. So, so, so one important thing you're saying there is that it depends and it depends on what the individual specifications will do. And, yes. and, and that is also a, a sort of an encouragement to community members out there. If you have a fa favorite feature that you want in some of the specifications, uh, some new nifty detail in servlet, for example, then th what you can do to get that feature out is to engage with the servlet community, the servlet project team, and get that features in there, and then it will eventually make it to the platform. Yep. And uh, because the 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 older way of doing it by going to the platform and team and saying, "Hey, I want this in servlet," and expect it to ripple down, that probably won't happen. Yeah. Yep. And and we are seeing. I mean, getting back to the involvement, we are seeing more and more people. I mean, it's <clears throat> it's still kind of a trickle effect, but we're getting more and more people involved in various aspects of the specifications. Um, we saw several individuals that went through the review process when we're going through the ballots for all of the specifications. And we got a few of them that went through and actually voted on it. And granted their votes, you know, don't actually count in the official count, but it was fantastic to see these people getting involved and actually reviewing it, giving us comments. And some of them even, you know, found some issues that weren't severe enough to stop the vote, but they should be fixed in the future. And then they were able to write issues or PRs to get them corrected in the future. So it, it, it was very positive to see the additional involvement. Yes, yeah, so, so maybe this can help to to make this um, kind of um, hidden secret of the Java EE, Jakarta EE specification process to be more well known so, so, so more people are familiar with it and it's easier to navigate in it. Yeah. Now, you, you know also, <laughs> because we talk a lot, um, there's a, you know, there is some concern about the specification process being maybe a little too cumbersome. And we are looking at that and we're trying to figure out ways that maybe we can automate more of it to make it easier for you know, the, the projects to focus just on the content for their, for their specifications and then getting it through the process of releasing, can we make that a little easier to consume? Um, right now, yes, there's a lot of checklists that we put into the different issues and PRs that, uh, that teams have to follow. And we, we realize and we understand that it's not perfect, but you know, Jakarta EE8 was even worse. <laughs> and now Jakarta EE9 is better and we hope to improve it as we go forward, so. And, and you also mentioned MicroProfile earlier. And uh, as we speak, MicroProfile is also going through the sa same set of steps and discovering the same things because as it turned out, the MicroProfile specification process is about as identical to the Jakarta E specification process as it can be. It's just one minor detail that, that kind of differentiates it. And so, so now the even more people will know about this process, will know about the 
the good stuff and the hard stuff and help automate it, uh, automate it as well. Yes. Yep. And, you know, even, I think this is kind of missing on some of the um, people, I guess, some of the people that, that take a look at this. Um, you know, in the past, we had Java EE and it was all managed by the JCP and that wasn't moving fast enough, you know, so we fired up this microprofile project and we started doing things a little bit differently. Okay, but those two things were not in sync at all. Well, then Java EE moves over to Jakarta EE and we still were not really in sync. So we're both under Eclipse, but we're still using different processes. And so now that microprofile is a working group, and like you said, we're using almost the exact same specification process, just one slight little tweak, but basically it's the same thing. So now we're on the same playing field. And um, I, I think it's been working out quite well. Um, the startup for microprofile, um, of course, there's several of us from Jakarta EE that participate on microprofile. So we've been able to bring our expertise over and, you know, try to smooth out the bumps as we get started. But, you know, we still, we do things a little different with microprofile and we're trying to adjust our processes a little bit um, from Jakarta EE. And um, yeah, it's, we're, we're getting there. We're going to be firing off our first ballot for one of the specifications. I mean, hopefully, I, I thought it was gonna be this morning, but I didn't see it. So, you know, maybe later today or tomorrow, but we'll be starting that process so that we can start working towards microprofile 4.0. So it it's starting. Yeah, that's great. So uh, any last thoughts or messages to the community? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, I, I'm going to put out a little plea um, to try to get um, some other um, organizations involved a little bit. Um, as I mentioned, I drove the release for Jakarta E9, um, and now I'm going to do 9.1. After that, we need some new blood in place in order to drive the next release. And whether it's a 9.2 or a 10, doesn't matter but we need some new blood. So we've had, you know, Oracle has driven this for years with Java EE and Jakarta EE. Um, I came in and yes, I'm, I'm from IBM, but I, I try to put on a neutral hat when I'm working in the community, but still just to have someone from IBM driving the first release was good. Now we need other organizations to step up and bring in some new blood and some new ideas. Um, we, we did things a little different for Jakarta E9, but I hit several little hiccups and, you know, uh, bumps along the way that it's like, man, I wish I, you know, would have done things different or would have been easier to track stuff. So it would be good to get some other ideas in and um, try and, and work through that with the next release. Now, that's kind of a major thing. So that's not something that I'm asking some new person to come in and say, oh yeah, I'll, you know, I'll do it. But got to get that thought out because we have a lot of people involved on um, the community, our platform calls, our specification calls, the mailing lists. We got to get someone signed up to start driving the next release. And, okay. and I know like um, Reza has been doing a very good job at gathering some ideas for Jakarta E10. And that is very helpful um, and I don't, I'm, I'm not going to put words into Reza's mouth. So, but, you know, some, somehow we need someone else to step up and start to do the release management for the next release. So that's, that's my plea. Yeah. And we'll make sure to get it out and uh, <laughs> hopefully someone will step up. And of course you will be around to help them. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm still in the same role. Well, thank you very much for uh, this talk and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Sounds good, Ivar. Thanks.